Today at Form Fun Shop we've received stock of our new drift carts which are an attachment to go on your hoverboards. Now this is a, a hoverboard with a six and a half inch wheel. The carts will also fit 10 inch wheels and 18 inch wheels. So they're pretty universal. So you don't have to worry about a size of your hoverboard. So let's, uh, let's see what's in the box to start with. Oh, we've got a nice instruction manual explaining how to put it all together. We've got the bucket seat. We've got the straps. These are actually used to hold the car onto the hoverboard. Looks like there's going to be some building to do, but they look pretty robust. So they look like some kind of hinge. Oh, we've also got shock absorbers, so there's a bit of suspension on this particular hover car or drift car, should I say? A couple of casters there. They look quite heavy duty. Another shock absorber. Oh, this little bag that comes with uh, a couple of spanners in there and all your nuts and bolts. So you shouldn't need any extra tools to build it. Everything looks like it's supplied there. We've got a few brackets. And, uh, two handles. Now these are different on the drip cart, they go on the front, sort of this type of action, these feel like what you use for skiing. So there's quite a bit to go at, we're going to spend some time building this, uh, it's going to take us, well we're not sure, we've not built one yet, uh, we're going to pause the video and we're going to come back when it's built, we'll let you, we'll time it and see how long it takes to get it built. So see you in a moment. Okay we're back, we took about 15 to 20 minutes to complete the build. Fairly easy, um, everything went together, there were no screws that wouldn't screw or threads that were broke or anything like that, it was all fine. Uh, I did notice however though, on the instruction it tells you to put this part in first, uh, and, but I couldn't adjust it to my hoverboard once that was in because I couldn't get to this nut, so I quickly took it off and then adjusted it and put it back. But no, overall a good strong build, we've had a little play on it in, uh, in our office but there isn't much room, we don't want to have any accidents. So. We're going to take it outside and give it a little test run. But I'll just give you a little view of it so you can see. You can see the shock absorbers on the back are quite a good touch as well. Uh, I've got this extended as far as it will go because uh, I'm, uh, I'm no small guy. So I had to make it as big as I could to get on it. But this quickly adjusts. You can take this out, move it in and then quickly tighten it back up. You wouldn't need a spanner or an Allen key to do any of that. So that's it, uh, one built drift car. They're available to buy on our web shop, website, phonefunshop.com. Thanks for watching. Okay, Phone Fun Shop, we're having a little play on our new drift carts. We've got Curtis. He's been having a little play for only about five minutes and he's getting used to it. It's a little trickier to play with than a standard of a car but it is a lot more fun as you can see there's a lot of spinning around going on Well, we'll leave Curtis to it. Looks like it's going to be all day with Curtis on this. We're not going to get any work out of him. All right, thanks for watching.